My name is Debbie, and uh, I'm from the Vancouver Centre. I've been at Bodhi Meditation for uh, well since November 2015. At that time, I came in with uh, chronic pain. I had been suffering for about approximately 28 years. I had had a car accident, and uh, I suffered severe whiplash, and I was also diagnosed with fibromyalgia, which is a really nasty chronic pain condition that you can't see. The judgment was huge for me because I uh, actually had, um, prior to that, my life was all about riding my horses, water skiing. I was um, training to become a pastry chef. So I was on my feet all day long. I was doing uh, so much. And I went from that to my couch at 27 years old, given a whole bunch of drugs and told I would never get over it. And so I was judged and I was, I was uh, talked about and people were really mean, I was lazy, I didn't want to work, all this stuff, and it really, really hurt my heart. So for the next um, approximately 27 years, I then uh, spent close to $200,000, and in my world that's huge, on, on uh, acupuncture, massage, all this kind of thing, because I knew I couldn't live on my couch medicated. So I came a long, long way with that, uh, but it was always two steps forward, one back. I was always uh, literally being knocked down. I would end up on my floor and, and in bed for months, weeks, whatever it was. But I knew in my heart that I, I needed to search. And I walked into those Bodhi doors in November 2015, and my life changed completely. So the first thing I felt was the love and compassion from everybody and that and no judgment. And right then and there, I felt like I was at home and I felt like it was a place where I belonged. So I did my first retreat in November 2015. It was fabulous. December 2015, I was in the hospital for two weeks with so much inflammation on my brain that they told me I could have died. <laughs> so what they wanted to do with me was, of course, give me drugs and tell me that they're, they're, they didn't know what was wrong with me. The inflammation was on my brain, so they needed to just give me the painkillers and things like that, but they didn't know what was wrong. I knew what was wrong. It was these toxins coming out of my brain. This was over Christmas and over New Year's, and I stood at the window and I looked out and I knew it was the toxins leaving my body. Previous to finding Master Jin Bodhi and Bodhi Meditation, the only person that could help me get my pain out of my body was my wonderful massage therapist, Trish, because she's way, way beyond that. But now I've had Bodhi, so I attended a January retreat. I thought I was going to start from square one, but that wasn't the case. What happens with me at here is, of course, unexplainable, as we all know. But for me, my head starts to twist and turn, and my body starts to shake, rattle, and roll. And it works the pain out. My, it, it's amazing. And, and what comes to mind when I, when I, my range of motion on my neck and things is, is not very good at this point and getting better, but trust, something comes trust. So my head will spin and turn in ways that I would never even do it now. <laughs> standing. <laughs> so every, every retreat, I just keep getting better. I feel the negative energy leaving my body. I'm able to bring in that positive energy, and that's what's so great. Now I've got tools in my toolbox, and I can learn how to deal with it. Mm -hmm. What I've learned with uh, fibromyalgia is a really nasty, your, your muscles, your tendons, your ligaments are all twisted and knotted, and it's a great deal of pain. Well, what served me when I was younger, when I had to be tough and rough, when I was in the foster care system, didn't serve me as a, as a, a grown adult anymore. Master taught us that. So. And so when I'm holding myself so tight, and, and not consciously, of course, but, I, but he's taught to let go. I can't match the energy of people. I just got to go with the flow. And it's incredible. I, I'm, my pain is lessened so much. I'm just, I'm able to do so much more. I'm living again. I'm playing again. And in this retreat, I realized that it, although I'm still in a great deal of pain, it's what I have to go through. Yeah, I'm here for a good time, I guess. <laughs> it's been a rough week. But I, I want to say that 
in my little way, I guess I am doing my part. Right now, I, I deliver <laughs> a few magazines. I, I'm a group leader. I'm trying to do more. I know my, my pain is leaving. And when my pain leaves, and, and I'm just going to immerse myself into Bodhi because I know it's the real de deal. I love Master Jim Bodhi with all of my heart. And my heart is here with Master and all of my brothers and sisters for life. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now, I'm, I really apologize for taking so much time, but you know what? This is my shot, and I'm going to take it, okay? So my mother told me <laughs> one little sentence when I was little that damaged me for life. She told me I couldn't carry a tune if it were in a paper bag. Well, for me, I didn't sing at birthday parties. I didn't sing for 40 years in the little choir in the little school. I stood at the back because mommy told me I couldn't sing. Guess what? I can sing. Oh! <laughs> Do it. <laughs> but I warn you, it may not be pleasant. <laughs> so here it goes. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear May babies. Happy birthday to you.